Today I'm going to show you how to make pockets out of the wallpaper sheets that are in my shop. They're really nice and large and you can make a lot of ephemera even just from one sheet. I'm going to show you three different styles but if you only have scrapbook paper these measurements will work for you too. So the first pocket is just a single pocket with a tag. The back is unfinished. It's the unfinished wallpaper so you can do whatever you want on the back of that. The second one is a double pocket with some ephemera inside. So here's one pocket and here's the second pocket. And then the third is a double pocket as well but the first pocket is down here and the top opens to create a nice space where you can stuff all kinds of ephemera. So let's get started on these three pockets. So to get started, I just want to say that if I am going to give you measurements, but if you're using traditional scrapbook paper, you're not going to be able to get as many pockets uh, as I'm going to be able to get out of these sheets because that's the beauty of these wallpaper sheets that they're minimum 14, anywhere from 14 to 22 inches long. So you can really get a lot of ephemera out of just one sheet. The other thing is that all of the packs coordinate. So they either coordinate by theme or color or subject, but they're all going to go together. So I'm going to use these two. I um, really was on the fence about this because this is so beautiful that I thought mm, maybe I should use this for a cover. That would be so beautiful. Um, yeah, I hope I'm not going to regret cutting this up, but you know, I'm that way with scrap book paper too, and then it sits there for years and I don't use it, so I'm just going to use this up. So the first thing we'll do is make the double pocket, and it is super simple. I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to make it about three and a half inches wide. The easiest way to do that, if it doesn't, it's not, probably not going to fit in the standard paper trimmer because of the width of it. It's more than 12 inches. So I like to just line it up on my cutting mat and use my metal ruler. One, two, three and a half. And I like this long 18 inch ruler because I can use the dots on my cutting board at the top and the bottom, the dots or the lines to, and then use my paper here, line it up also on the line so that everything's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to measure at three and a half inches three and a half and then I just like to use my rotary wheel cutter nope it needs a new blade so I'm gonna have to go over it a couple times you're probably sick of hearing me say that I need a new blade for this <laughs> I've been busy cutting up wallpaper sheets for two weeks so what do you want from me people <laughs> okay I can probably get, let's see, I can probably get two out of this. So I'm going to cut it again. So that was three and a half inches. And now let's see what I want this because I'm going to fold this up. Fold it up to make a pocket. And I will cut that off at, let's see here, I want it to be about, I think that high would be really pretty. Let's see what we've got. I'll cut it and then unfold it for you. Okay, so it's three and a half wide by eight and a half high. And then just fold it up about two and three quarter inches. And then we're going to measure this 
and I'm going to put a piece of this on as the pocket. Or, let me think. I wonder if I want to make this into a tag and put it in the pocket. You know what? I think I'll do one of each. So, let's see. Try to make them around the same. Around the same height. Okay. So this one, I think I'm going to put some book page on, and then I'll use the, this pretty blue for a tag. So I'm just going to get some glue on here, put some paper down. I just happen to have some paper that talks about gardening, so that's, that's kind of fun. And by the way, most of this paper that I did get is um, not pre-pasted. So I don't know what that means because I haven't experimented with pasted paper yet to see if you can wet it and glue things on it or I'm going to have to wash that off. I got the stain on there. And then I'm just going to... I messed up one corner there, but that's okay. That would have been pretty too. There's a lot of options. But I'm going to stick with this. It's crooked. See, I, I messed up right there, but I'll be putting something on there, I'm sure. And on this one, I'm going to measure this and cut a piece of that blue paper. So this is two and two and five eighths by three, almost three and a half. Let me go ahead and put that on. Cut off the excess. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through my sewing machine just up the sides to hold these flaps down. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine. I just did a zigzag stitch because that's the most forgiving. I'm not a great sewer, so <laughs> um, it's easier. It looks looks better than a straight stitch. And I have this strip. I think I'm just going to put it right here to cover over that blip, although, you know, um, where I didn't get the book page. So zoom in a little closer here so you can see. And I'm just going to put a little, this little strip there. And then what I want to do is have some tags for these pockets. So I have these that I found, I think, at a thrift store somewhere. I don't know. I've had them forever. So I'm just going to use... Oh, that, there's birds on here, too. I forgot about that. But I want... That's really pretty. These are so lovely, and there's no identifying name on them or anything. If any of you know... If you can buy more of these, I love them. So I'm just going to put that in there, and I'll probably, at the end, put a ribbon in there. And then I'm out of this wallpaper, I'm going to make a tag for over here. Grab some scrapbook paper, because I want this to be a two-sided tag. And I've got um, a scrap here. I like this blue. I think that looks really pretty with it. So I'll cut that down. 
And I always do my tags after I sew because you need to know how wide it is once your once your stitches are in. See, I would have done a three inch tag, but a three inch isn't going to fit in there. So I'll do a I'm going to do a two and a half inch wide tag. By, let's see, maybe by, by, I think five and a half. I'm going to go almost all the way to the top with this. I think that'll look pretty. And I'm going to do the same with this. Now that my wallpaper's cut down a little bit, I can um, put this in my paper trimmer. Do I have a scrap? Oh, yeah. Forgot I had a scrap. So that was, well, you know what? I'm just going to do it the easy way. I'm going to glue it on here. And then just cut it with my scissors. I'm so happy that I finally am having a chance to play with all this wallpaper. I spent two weeks. Well, first I had to go load up. My husband and I had to go load up a truck. And then we had to lug it up three floors to my studio. And then I had to spend two weeks cutting all the pages out and putting kits together and listing it. And um, I'm surprised I'm not sick of wallpaper by now. <laughs> but I'm not because I just saw so much beautiful artwork in the wallpaper that I'm excited to just, I've got about 15 projects that I'm going to be showing you all with, with the wallpaper. So I don't, I'm not sick of it yet. Cut my corners. Punch, oh, oh, I almost tipped over my little caddy here. Punch a hole in the top. And I can have that go this way, which is super pretty. I'm liking that. Or I can have it go this way. But I think I think it's a little too plain this way. I think it needs a little something. So I'll turn that over and decorate it. But first, I think I want some more of this sparkle right here. So I'm just going to actually just rip a strip here and do a little collage. And I think that'll be real pretty. And then I could take, hmm, I think I'll do the same up here. I'll just, hmm, I wonder if I would want that zigzag. Nah. I'm just going to tear a little bit off like I did in the last one. I like to do things off center. If you um, are a person that kind of has trouble wondering where to put things and and how to um, collage, I do have a video on that. 
collaging using the rule of thirds that photographers use, and it's a really easy method of doing pretty collages. So, okay, now I just want a couple of ribbons. Wait a minute, this ended up being too plain for me, and I have a piece. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the texture there? This is paintable wallpaper. Paintable wallpaper. I'm so excited about this, and um, I'm going to be putting, let me grab some here, I'm going to be putting some sheets of paintable wallpaper in my shop, too, when I get around to this. Um, I want to play with it first and see what you can do with it, and it's going to be great for mixed media, and uh, can you imagine putting those inside of a journal for pages, and then people can just do their artwork in it. I just, oh, I can't wait. I just, that's going to be super, super fun to work with. So I'm going to put this on there. And it's got that lovely texture. And the thing I love about this too, with the texture on there, is that sometimes I spend hours using my Sizzix machine and making just um, textured pieces that I can use in my projects because I love the white and the and the embossed and now there's I, I can just use these for a while till I run out <laughs> okay now I was gonna find some okay as I'm looking for my ribbon I keep finding things that I want to use and this is a piece of upholstery fabric that has some lovely blue in it and so I want to put this on there. I'm going to just use the same formula that I used for here. And I'm going to put that on there. Okay. Yep. Use up every scrap. <laughs> Using the rule of thirds, I, I thought we not needed something over there. Okay. Okay, now I really am going to get some ribbon. And I found some blue sari silk, so I think I'm going to use that instead. And these are all different shades of blue, but I don't care. You know, it's um, sometimes it's a little more whimsical when you use different colors. That's fun. And that's just plain. But that's okay. Room for journaling. What I could do is, so I'm just going to do, my pen's running out of ink. I like to sometimes just do messy lines like this where somebody can write if they want. It's all crooked. It's all messy. Don't worry. I love it. Don't worry about these things. There, see? That ends up being fun. So there, now we have something on the back of the tag. And let's tie up this one. And we're done with that one. Love these. You can do something on the back if you want. You can cover it with book pages. Um, as I've said in other videos, though, I rarely decorate the back of my ephemera until I know what I'm going to do with it. If this is just going to be tucked in somewhere, I'm going to decorate the back of this. But if I'm going to glue it to a page, what's the sense of decorating the back of it? So if I decide to use it just to, to tip into a book, I'm going to, I'll decorate the back of it then. So I'm just going to leave that plain, but there's loads of possibility with the back of wallpaper. Okay, so that's our first pocket. The second one I wanted to show you is the top loading pocket. So you want to cut out a piece that is wider than the last one. The, this one here, you can use skinny pieces. This one, we're going to fold it in half. So I cut out a piece here that is 7 inches wide by 9 inches high. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half like this. So it goes this way. And 
burnish it. Then take it, and you can just eyeball it, but put this pocket where you want it to be. And crease it, crease it. Okay, and now I'm going to sew up the edges just like I did on these. So now that the top pocket is, is um, sewn, you can do a couple of things. You can take your um, circle punch, grab mine, and you can take it and put it in here and just do just do half of it and make a little circle. But mine, right now, I need to sharpen this. By the way, if you don't know how to sharpen these, you put um, you make a sandwich with several layers of um, tin foil, and you cut and cut and cut and cut the tin foil, and then you do the same thing with several layers of wax paper, and it sharpens these. But this one will not go through here, I already know. And I like things sticking out of the top of this because now we have this great pocket here. And so this is a kit in my shop. I think it's his, I forget the name of it. Um, my personal ephemera, I think, or something. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, and normally I would have the back stained up, but I'm not going to do that right now. But I, I also have a kit called Historic Documents and Letters, and I use that a lot for my top pockets because it kind of looks really fun to have something sticking out of the top like that, and then you put it in your journal. You know, it's like a little secret. So we'll put that in there, and then I think I will put something else in here. Not sure I want to tag this time. Um, let me think. How about I do a little journaling card? This I just made with a corrugated box. I have a video on how I did that. And I have this little teeny, just little teeny book that I made. I'll put a little booklet in there. Kind of have some dimension to it. Hmm, how do I want this? Let's do it like this. All of this stuff, I have videos on how I made it, and I'm really bad about linking below. I'm sorry, um, but you can you can search my channel and you'll you'll find it. So now I want a little something here, and I think what I will do is well, there's a really pretty wallpaper scrap. Um. I'm going to do some stamping. Why not? And we'll see how that looks and we'll see if I need to do anything else. I just have this gobbledygook word stamp that's in really bad shape. It's about 40 years old. I love it. And let's see. Ah, love it. Okay, that works that worked out really good. Might not really show on the camera, but it's, um, you know what this looks like now that the words are on there? This almost looks like a little document holder. I really like that. And I need something up here. I know. How about a piece of washi tape? See, you can do anything with wallpaper that you do with your book pages, that you do with scrapbook paper. It's all good except this is much more versatile and durable especially as I mentioned in a previous video for book covers and that looks really nice on there so now I have a little a little mini document holder and that's the back and again you can decorate the back if you choose to do so and then our third style of pocket. We're doing good so far. I love these. I love every one of them. We're going to do one that has a double pocket. So I already have a scrap here from the paper we've been working with. I've been working with. It's three and a half by seven. And I think that's a good size for the next 
thing because we're the next pocket because we're going to actually have two pockets on here. But I do want to back this because it's just like regular paper. It's very flimsy. And so I'm just going to use another scrap of this. Okay. Now, um, I am going to use some of this paintable wallpaper. Gosh, I love this stuff. Oh my goodness. I like this one. This one's kind of like brick. I'll use this one. Okay. But I hate to tear it because I can never get any more. <laughs> oh. All right. And I want to have a piece of this that is approximately three and a half by, I'm going to say, yes, three and a half by two and a half. And then I need, so that's going to be one pocket that looks awesome. And then I'm going to have another pocket here. So why not use that other luscious scrap that I have? Let me see how that would look. Yeah. I love that. That's what we're doing. Okay. So let me think. The next pocket, I think, is going to be two by three and a half. Okay. So you can make these pockets as high as you want. You can have have them be so tall that they're all the way up here. You can have the second one be a little shorter, which is kind of what I like because it gives it more interest. Okay, so now I am going to take this over to my sewing machine. And for this one, I'm going to sew three sides, the side, the bottom, I mean, yeah, three ways, two sides and the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I totally sewed this one on crooked. It slipped when I was sewing it, but that's, that's okay. And I decided to do a straight stitch on this one just to have some fun. But look at how fun that paintable wallpaper is. So should I grunge this up? I don't know. Hmm. Let me take a little piece of this and see. Oh, yes, I definitely should grunge it up. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. Look at how it just brings out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. That took the Tim Holtz ink so nicely. Oh, boy. I'm in love. I'm in love with this stuff. hate my crooked pocket, though. So for this one, I think that I am going to do a tag. And I have a whole bag of tags here. Maybe. Maybe that. And I want to stick a little sentiment in there. That's always fun. This is just a little something that I printed on um, tea-stained paper. And I'll put that there. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this then. I'm going to do another. Let's see. Is that too big? That's fun. So put that in there. And then our little word sentiment. And then I'm going to take another, this is another actual document from 1890 that is in my collection that I digitize. And this is available as a kit. And I like the dark lettering at, at the top. I think that'll look really nice. So I'm putting that in case you can't see. Let's see. I'm putting that in this second pocket here. And it's going to stick out the top. I like doing that. I don't like having everything right, you know, in the confines of that little Brad. Ah, in the confines of, of your pocket. Things can be sticking out. OK. 
Okay, so there's another one, and I'm wondering, so I have this scrap left over. Should I put that on there? Mm. I don't know. Nah, I love this too much. I love it. I think I'll leave it there. I like it the way it is right here. So there you go, guys. This wallpaper is just super fun to work with. And we made three different kinds of pockets. We made just a regular single pocket with some tags. And we made the top opening pocket with another pocket here. And then this is a double pocket. You can also make this one if you wanted to fold it like this first, you can also have a third pocket up, up top here. So this could be a triple pocket. Super fun. I hope you enjoy this. Even if you don't get any, grab any wallpaper while it's in my store, you can use scrapbook paper for this and other papers. So, so have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.